Hi guys, welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Well, um, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you me sorting my front greenhouse out. Now I need to get everything out, get all the treat the the compost, um, add some um, some fertilizers and what have you in there, blood fish and bone. Give it a good owing, rake it, put the canes in, get the tomatoes, throw the tomatoes in, um, cucumbers. Um, you, you're going to see me putting the canes um, with all the, the, the trellis work that I put into the greenhouse every year. Diff obviously, they've all been sterilised and what have you. And there's a few tips in that, in amongst all the, the clips that I'm going to show you now. So we're going to start off from start to finish and we'll come right back after I've shown it you know. So okay, we'll what we're doing this, this morning, we're taking all these um, potatoes out of the greenhouse. I'll probably end up just um, doing a few reveals. We've already done two. Um, got a couple of pounds, well, two and a half pounds in each of the buckets there. And uh, as you saw in the last clip. But uh, we've got three more buckets in here, so we need to get them out. Get all these stro uh, tomatoes out. And, um, and then we've got to put the canes in and then start putting the tomatoes in there. I'm going to tie all this, um, this grapevine up as well. Uh, hopefully we're going to run it along the along the the side there later on this year. And, uh, and and across the top of the roof up here. It's almost there now. So, But what we've got to concentrate on is this um, these uh, potatoes. So I'll be back when we cleared it. And then we've got a better idea of what we're going to be doing. What, a definition of what we're going to be doing. Well, we've got okay. all inside here nice and clear now. I'm going to be putting um, some blood fish and bone in here. Um, this is so what we put in last year, compost I should say. So we're just going to revitalise it and then we're going to set its canes in here and um, then we're going to be planting these ones and I've got a couple outside that I'm going to be planting of the, the tomatoes. So that was some blood fish and bone we've just put in there. Um, just dig that weed out. Right. Now then, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix all this in with the oak. And then we're going to put the canes in. And then we're going to put the tomatoes in. In that order as well. But first things first, we've got to do this. And uh, after we've done that, we'll just tidy up a, before we do anything else. Yeah, nothing's been grown in this really for since last year. So it's. Right, so I think we've taken care of that. 
Right, just gonna sweep it all back over onto here. Right now then, we've got to space these out and figure out Basically that's how we're going to be setting them out, maybe not so close to the the wall we'll stick a cane in here, right in the centre, and then we'll put the tomato on the inside of that. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how we're going to do it, so I want to just take a break because it's very hot in this greenhouse, even though the doors are open and the windows are open, and... Uh, it's a scorcher today. Temperature now is 110 degrees inside this bloody greenhouse. I think it's 110. No, 104 degrees. <laughs> Still bloody hot. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a quick break and we'll come back, we'll set the canes in and uh, tie them all up and then we'll start putting the tomatoes in then. Yeah, we're just to get the canes sort of in best we can. It's a bit difficult. I've uh, got to bend them in like that and push them down. We go up to the right height where we need them. This is the hard part. Believe it or not, guys, it's incredibly hard working in this greenhouse at the moment. The temperature is so stifling. Two more canes in and then we'll we'll come back to this. Like I say it's just too too warm in here at the moment. It's not gonna go in there. Got one more to go in and it happens to be a bloody awkward one. Got it. 
Right, so that's all the, that's all the uh, 12 canes in. They're a bit close, they're about just over 13, 14 inches apart, but these things, um, what we're growing, they're, they're not bushes, so I think we'll get away with it. So what I've got to do now uh, is basically tie these in at the top. So I'm going to take a five minute break because I've got to tell you guys, it's absolutely um, pine peanut in here. I'm going to get this uh, shirt off because it's just too hot. So I'll be right back. So I've got some of these cable ties. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start to tie. I do this every year, new, new ties. And... Uh, trick is get the first one here go to the other end tie it up Yeah, we're just manoeuvring these about a bit at the moment and we'll get them into the right where we want them and we tie them all up get a little bit tighter so this, yeah that's okay there so could use that velcro stuff but the thing is when you start getting the weight of the tomatoes on it um, then it starts it will it will start to uh, collapse the the actual cane so these cable ties are absolutely essential really we will be tying the the tomatoes using the um, that um, tapes what I've got about that's perfect there so now we've got to do is do the other one pretty much the same way then we've got to time a, a cross as well yeah this is the this is the fun bit and this is doing it without anyone coming over and um, interfering while I'm doing it uh, usually doesn't always work the way I want it to work it's, it's hard doing it one-handed as well, guys. Oh, when I say doing it on my own, <laughs> you really could do it with two, two, pair, two pairs of hands, really. Right. Push that up. It's just a matter. Got to just manoeuvre the things about a bit. So that into place. We're not tightening them completely tight yet, we are. We just we're going to be tweaking them about a bit. for a pound. There you go. Penny a tie. I can live with that. Right then, what I'm going to do now? We're going to put some of these across like that in the middle and at the end. And we're going to tie them all together. So this is the fun bit. This is where it gets a bit complicated. It gets a bit harder. I've got to sort of push the, the cane over. So we've got one side. Now to get the other. Goddamn things are falling off, aren't they? I've seen that coming. Need more cable ties, two more to need. 
Upsy daisy. I don't think anyone says upsy daisy anymore. Right. Yes, I seen it. It fell off. I know. One in the middle. Now then. Could put it just to off, off centre. That's what we'll do. We'll put it off. I don't like that. It's not in the middle, is it? I've got to have everything in the middle, guys. It's no good just having it off centre. It's the OCD in me, I suppose. So that is. Smack bang in the centre. Get the other one in. And this is the last one, guys. All we're going to do now, just going to tweak them. Make sure they're all... All nice and tight. This is it. They're all done. Final tightening. Perfect. Right, now then, pair of scissors, all these bits off, these, take these ends off here. Don't need these sticking out and sticking in my face when I'm going past them all the time. Catching me, they irritate me too well. This is the last one. There you go. Woohoo! <laughs> Blue minute. Right. Now this was the hardest part, getting this uh, frame in here. Um, we're going to concentrate on the floor in a minute when we're putting the, um, the tomatoes in, but I'm going to take a bit of a break, guys, because, yeah, you guessed it, I'm knackered. So I'll be right back. Here's the tomatoes all being set out. I'll just set them out there now in the pots. And uh, these, I'm doing 10, actually I did have 12 rainbow blend, like an idiot, me being me, I went and give two away to me mate, I'm always doing it, I just wanted to do 12 uh, rainbow blend in, down in this greenhouse because I really really love the actual tomato itself, though. probably one of the best tomatoes I've ever tasted to be quite honest, so you like a little plum tomato and they're all multicoloured, they're lovely they are, anyway, um, like an idiot, we give we give um, we give the two away. So what I've stuck in there, I've stuck sort of two right at the very end, some Roma. Now they're another big plum tomato. So what we're doing in here, are a load of plum tomatoes, 
and um, yeah I'm just going to start planting them up now so I'm just going to get a trowel and I'm going to get me uh, my tape this velcro tape that I've got and we're going to tie them into the canes and as we're doing it we're just going to nip the um, the the shoots from uh, actually there's none on at the moment so I'm pretty pretty happy um, you got to be careful with these if you don't take the the shoots from the the side shoots out the the bush out and you don't want them a bush I want them to climb and uh, hopefully we'll get a few get a few tomatoes on these very shortly well it's well, just shortly in about another another five six weeks time right so I'm gonna get me velcro and uh, we're gonna get these uh, get these planted and watered in and then we're finally getting somewhere in the greenhouse hey guys this is exciting times now what I'm using is this velcro to attach the tomatoes to the canes now it's absolutely awesome you put the green side to in where the stem is to the plant so basically you do it like that I don't know if you can see it's like a cushion on the inside so it stops the plant from getting damaged if it moves and uh, well what we're going to do we're going to chop one off God damn pair of scissors, a decent pair of scissors we would chop one off. So there we go, we got that. So I need my, my trowel. I've got lots of trowels and uh, I can't see a blooming one of them. Ah, there's one. <coughs> oh, I just seen a frog jump there then. There's a frog in here. Right, so we're moving this one out of the way for the time being. And where we're going to put this one, we're going to... Well, we don't really need to dig. It's very, the, the soils, uh, the, the compost is very dry. We'll be really hammering it with water. So first, first one of the year, and it, I mean, very dry as well. So this is our, our light to put them in. Go a bit deeper. Now we've already took the side shoots out. this one anyway so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna tie this up like that and that will grow true up the um, up the the cane so what I'm gonna do is just just side of it I'm gonna put a pot water into the the pot here guys into this pot here water into this not in onto the onto the tomato because you can cause damage it will it can get damp damped off like and then you're in the land of earth then don't forget rainbow blend stick your label there as well so you so you know what they are well i know what these are i've been talking about them all year <laughs> and uh, there's a few of us uh, growing them uh, nigel's took the plunge he's got a few um there was a, a, a really, really angry story about these as well um, when I got them. Uh, I've actually got a video from start to finish, well, from start to doing these, so I'll be putting that up sometime shortly. And uh, it's a, it was about getting them to start off in the first place. I take that side shoot out there. It's the only one at the moment plant them deep so the, the beauty of these as well is you can actually when they start to the, the stems start to get thicker you can actually take the velcro off and reset them so it's well worth um, getting this velcro and um, the pound pound lamb do these these pots uh, this this stuff here you get three rolls of this for the pound it's well worth it i think wilco's do it for two pound and uh, you go into um, somewhere like b and q and they're doing the same thing for about four pound for the same amount of rolls so pound lamb's the place to go for these guys Get the label we will be watering them 
Uh, I'm just move as I move as I'm doing these. I'm just moving them out of the way. Uh, if, look at that! I don't even need this trowel. What am I using the blooming trowel for? Just being silly. Out. I use my bare hands. I say we'll be watering them. I found um, keeping it keeping the, the soil sort of dryish. They seem to do a lot better. Again, just taking a little side shoot out there. I plant them just slightly deeper than where, where they are. Oh God, I could have put pits a bigger one, couldn't I? Uh, Good stuff this this velcro. I'm not wrapping it down tight, I mean there's plenty of wiggle room there. What that's doing is keeping that going up that cane straight. And that's the idea, that's what we need, that's what we're trying to achieve. one a little bit deeper yeah, after these side shoots here guys let's put the camera around a little bit more so you can see a bit better these are the only tiny little side shoots at the moment but that's the only one that's there but uh, you, you're always wise to prick them out unless you want a bush if you want a bush well you know you go and do it that way i think this is the exciting part of doing all this is actually getting these in now this is probably my favorite thing of the year to do is doing my tomatoes um, potatoes are, I like doing the reveals and stuff like that and I like doing other things but uh, I think there's nothing better than saying it, you know, gardening basically starts here and uh, I know there's a lot of you that already, already got your tomatoes in. Um, I don't like to do them too soon because I've got other things, other projects going on in the greenhouses. So, you know. Me and my labels. Full of labels. <laughs> this brush paid a, paid a 50p on the car boot. It's absolutely wonderful it is great for you know you get a bit of um compost on the side sweeps it keeps it all nice and tidy in your greenhouse and that's what's going to be happening here and the beauty of me doing this i can sit down and do this so again pot in there water into the pot that's the idea uh move the compost take the side shoot out that's the only side so far I've only seen a couple of side shoots and all of so you know they're just starting to establish now can plant them a little bit deeper don't be scared of planting them deeper that's that's really off putting that bloody thing there what I cut too short always leave a little bit extra as well because obviously the these things do grow they do start to expand 
Right, there's another label. So we're halfway, nearly. Last one, woohoo, get in there. Ah, perfect. Oh, dear God, that's done. Thank God for that. Gonna need more water, bugger. Give me great line of good drenching. It's not been watered for a while. Right. So that's it, they've all been watered in. Uh, although it's, sunk, it's gone in pretty quick. Give them another drink along here. We'll do this again later. So easy it is. So that's it, they've all watered in. Now then, uh, I think we're going to be doing something with the um, with the cu cucumbers in here in a minute. I'm going to sort the cu cucumber out in a minute. And uh, we'll set that up and I think we're good to go in this greenhouse. Hi right, guys, will you join me where I'm just putting a, one of these market more um, cucumbers. This is one of my me, me market more cucumbers here. And uh, while we're putting it, we're putting it in here. So I'm just going to take that out. Um, we're going to be gentle how we do this. Beautiful root system there, as you can see. And uh, I say we're going to tip it up. And we're just going to drop it in. There we go. And that's all we're going to do. Um, when I say we're all we're going to do. going to put a pot in here and uh, water into this it will water that if you start to water the um, where the stem is here if this stem gets wet you get a uh, just uh, dampen off and then the plant will die what we're going to do we're going to be changing the direction of this little puppy and we're going to get it so it goes along here, along here, and all the way along here. So that's how we're going to be training it. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to 
we'll go and get the water in a moment and uh, give it a good watering in but uh, yeah that's uh, that's another one of my um, cucumbers that's I leave that there where it is so I know exactly what it is instead of going humming and ahhing and what it could be but yeah we'll train it so it's going along the, the greenhouse uh, roof and uh, we've got another one on the other side and we'll obviously we'll train them to go along side by side but uh, yeah there we go here's all the canes in the this in the greenhouse there's all my tomatoes all tied up pots there where we water we water into the pots not into the ground or next to the plant we will always water into them pots that's why that's so we don't um, get in any dampening off of the um, the tomatoes right down this end here we've got a market more we've got a cane specially for that and it's gonna obviously it's gonna climb up here and then we're gonna put another bracket or another thing over here and let it run along this way in this corner we've got another one this one's um, Telegraph F1 and that's going to go up here and along here over on this side we've got another market mower here which will go along here so there you go um, the rainbow blends are all in I'd love to put 12 in, that's me giving George, my mate, to. Um, he had the big puppy dog um, eyes and uh, I felt sorry for him, so I give him two. However, we've got two Roma in the in the place there. And we've got um, some market more, and we've got some um, um, Telegraph F1s as well in there. And um, we're going to be doing pretty much the same thing in the, the middle green now. So I've got the canes now, I just need to clear everything out of there and get stuck in. We'll be clearing more stuff out of this greenhouse, what are on the tables, we're bringing the chilies. I've got chilies and peppers all over the show, so I've even got one or two in this um, coal frame outside here. So I need to get them into the greenhouses, get them all prepped and all ready to, you know, get them in the... Um, I've got like these little troughs, you fill the troughs, water, I always, I like to water them from the bottom. Um, that way you don't get any dampening off um, on the the plants as well um, but yeah that's all to come of that's another video uh, we've actually got another video done it's um, putting the the, the the pumpkins out um, we've done them at the front of the plot I'll show you that in the next episode this one's get, got you know it's pretty long now so I'll be showing you that in the next episode how I actually set that out I will set my pumpkins out, my um, watermelons and my jack-o'-lanterns and we've actually put some down at the bottom of the plot um, in, in amongst the peas I haven't done an update for a while, I've done lots of jobs on the thing I mean, um, my lupins have gone absolutely crazy on here at the moment They're, I mean, you won't believe it, they're actually drowning everything out all my um, berries, all my fruit trees, all my fruit bushes the 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 basically drowning them out, but um, this fruit on them all, so I'm, I'm not really mithered. Um, got gooseberries coming now. We still need to remove a couple of gooseberry bushes out because they're the ones what was uh, damaging the in the the, the rains of, of, in the winter. So anyway, uh, I'll be throwing um, a tour in as well sometime in the week and showing you what's what. But it's difficult because it's stuff what you haven't seen yet. Um, but I want you to show you me how I've done it so I need to show you them before I uh, actually show you the, the tour so I better crack on aren't I so that's it for this one guys thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing thanks for leaving your comments and um, I'll see you all in the next one bye for now